Hey, it's me again, Pamela, and I want to introduce you to Miles. I call him Miley. My husband calls him Crazy Man. And we're going to show you some of his wardrobe and some of his, the accessories that he has. And he's going to sit there and watch us nice and sweet, I think. Okay. Let's look at his summer clothes first. Okay, here's his little stud muffin shirt. Spool. Talk to the paw. Does this shirt make me look fat? Here's one where I put the letters on myself. Miles. Here's his dog on duty. Little surfing tank. All dressed up, no place to go. Little angel shirt, too cute. Here's his very first shirt I think he ever had. It's pretty faded out. It's just little bones and hearts and crowns and that kind of thing. I think this one's his newest shirt. His tough guy. His little Bucky's shirt. Little stud. Biker shirt. Baseball shirt. Big attitude. And his bad hair day shirt. Okay, summer wardrobe. Here is our winter wardrobe. It's a Texas Longhorn sweater. Arkansas Razorback sweater. It's a nice little striped sweater with a bone. I guess army sweater. Christmas sweater. It's red and green. Here's his little Yankees jacket. He looks adorable in this. And then his Santa outfit, which he wears only on Christmas Day, of course. So there you go with that. And here's his collar. It's his Miles and Rhinestones. His little black leather collar. Oops. And Okay, here's his Louis Vuitton bag, which we really like this one because I can carry him around in this one and it can completely be enclosed where you can shut this and you can't even tell there's anything in there at all or it can be snapped here and open so we can uh, use that both ways. And here's another one. I just use this one if I'm just carrying him somewhere on a little short short trip. And it has the thing in here to go to his collar. Of course, he's completely free, head out and everything. That one. And then we have his backpack, which this is for walking. And it just fits on to me, of course and he fits inside there and his head in the uh, sticks out and very safe straps around my neck and waist and then his head sticks out and it's also attached to his collar then we have his Oshkosh diaper bag <laughs> a manly bag I should say anyway I really like this Has a lot of compartments and keep his shot records and everything in there, so I always have them handy. I take this on every single trip we ever go on. Got his foo foo spray. And that's exactly what it's called foo foo spray. A little cologne. And I don't know if there's even anything in here right now. I usually take everything out pretty much. Oh, he's got his little pet wipes in there. I think that's pretty much all that's in there. The little pet wipes. You never know when you're going to have a little muddy paw or something like that. Then, 
over here in the corner, this is our spare, spare bedroom, but over in the corner is his playpen. And the big teddy bear Fluffy there, that's what he likes to lay on, although he does have a bed in there as well. But we also take that big soft teddy bear with us when we uh, travel in the RV and things like that. Anyway, and this, this goes down and zips up, so if he needs to stay in there. We've taken it with us, camping with us uh, several times, and that's really nice because I don't like to keep him on a leash and, um, you know, stake to the ground or something. I'll see a lot of people with RVs doing that. They let their, their little babies run around and everything, which is great, but, you know, they're on a leash and they only go so far and end up getting tangled up. So a lot of the times I'll just take this and put him in it and I'll sit close by, you know, and read or whatever, sit around the fire and that kind of thing. So anyway, oh, I had some trees down here and the little booger found them. <laughs> I was going to have him do a few things. Molly, can you sit? Sit. Good job. You already ate your treats. Now you don't have anything to get. Anyway, he's a he's a little sweetie. He's five pounds. He's a little Yorkie mix. And uh, whenever we got him, <laughs> whenever we got him from the rescue shelter, they said that um, they thought he was Yorkie poo, part Yorkie, part poodle. And he does have curly hair, a little bit of curl to his hair, but he has hair that feels like a Yorkie. It's really soft and really thin, so. I mean, it's like human hair, and that's how Yorkie's hair is also like uh, human hair. But now he was in a pool yesterday, and so he looks curlier than he generally does. But whenever he um, his beard is out, he's got the brown around his beard like a Yorkie does. Anyway, he's super sweet, and he's so loving. He's six years old. And we'll do a we'll do a story about his rescue too before long. Anyway, that's our boy. Say bye. Thanks for watching. Get your ears up, Miles. Miles. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.